What's up, y'all? I am back again with another video. And today, we're going to be reacting to OD Perry, the old block legend. So, y'all know what to do. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, comment down below. And let's get into it. Chicago's biggest rappers came up in the Parkway Garden Homes, a.k.a. Old Block. Now it's one of the most infamous hoods in the country. But a lot of rap fans don't know about the man Old Block is named after. So today, we're breaking down the tragic story of Odie Perry, a 20-year-old who was killed and became a legend in the streets of Chicago. Old Block was built all the way back in the 50s and was a popular spot for black families. It wasn't always a hub for gang activity, but in the 80s, the neighborhood started getting more and more dangerous. At first, the Mickey Cobras and Gangsta Disciples ran the area, but in the 90s, the Black Disciples took over and started going by the name Wick City in the 2000s. Back in the day, the BDs and GDs didn't have any issues with each other. Lil Durk's dad was a GD who worked directly with the gang's founder, Larry Hoover. And he says that everything started because the BDs wanted more territory and wouldn't negotiate on it. Even after the BDs and GDs started having tension, the situation wasn't even as close to as violent as it is today. But that all started to change in 2011 when a 15 year old from a GD set called STLEBT was shot and killed at a bus stop. Tuka was a well liked kid who rep STLEBT and was tight with a lot of people in the neighborhood. One of his. Look, I'm going to say this, right? I did I did remember that dude named Tuka, like a 15-year-old boy. He was the member of the, the GDs. I remember that. I remember that one time that, that Chief Keith, that wrote the, who wrote the diss, who wrote the diss track about Tuka. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's... I ain't going to lie to you. That was crazy, but I ain't going to lie. This is a 15-year-old like, dead member of the GDs, man. That was crazy. That was crazy. Let's get back into it. Best friend girl named K.I. Tuka's death had a major impact on her and the whole area. They named themselves Tukaville in honor of her, and his death is allegedly what led to the murder of Odie Perry. According to rumors, Tuka's murder was get back for the death of a BD named Edric Walker. It was never confirmed, but rumors say OD was involved with Tuka's death. OD was one of the most well-respected BDs from Wick City. Not much known about his come up, but everyone who knew him, he was a savage, wasn't afraid of anybody. He was cool with all the big names from O-Block, like Chief Keith, Lil Reese, and Boss Top. And according to Lil Reese, he was one of them, one of the ones from back then. Beat motherfuckers yeah. up. Everybody was scared of OD. Eight months after Tuka was killed, OD was riding his bike down the street just a few blocks away from Wick City. He was on the 400 block of E64 Street when a car pulled up and started letting off shots. OD was sitting in the neck and unfortunately died from his injury. Damn. When OD was killed, there wasn't even a war in Chicago going on like what came next. There was still beef and street drama, but sets weren't losing people left and right like they are today. Boss Top said, OD Perry, that's my best friend. Your best friend. Yeah. Then she teared me like, OD, she got my kill ass. Like, I'm damn. That was like my first death experience with friends. So it was like, like, damn, you know? He was locked up when he heard the news, and he revealed in an interview. So it was like, I'm in jail. He gotta watch me cry. Like, I'm, I'm crying, it ain't, it ain't no secret. I'm crying in front of this OD died on Tuka's birthday. And rumors immediately started flying that STLEBT was behind the hit. Nobody was ever booked for the shooting, but one of the main theories behind his death is that KI killed him as get back for Tuka. According to rumors, KI and FBG Butter slid on Tuka's birthday to get revenge. K.I. was only around 14 at the time, and she wasn't a stranger to violence. Her dad was murdered, she was just one years old, and later, she witnessed her older brother get killed too. She moved into GD territory around 63rd in St. Lawrence, and that's when she got tight with Tuka and other dudes from STLEBT. OD dying on Tuka's birthday made a lot of people think K.I. was involved, and Woosie actually shouted her and Butt out on Twitter for making O-Block. Not everyone believed she was involved with OD's death. But the rumors helped build her up into one of Oblock's biggest ops. Damn. AI became known in the city for shooting at anyone she had a problem with. She allegedly tried to kill a girl who was the cousin of a dude from Oblock named T Roy. Her and King Von started beefing on social media. He was shot off a T Roy, bro. That's crazy. AI lost more family to the streets where her 13 year old cousin Taekwon was hit by a stray bullet and tragically died. Then she suffered another loss when her homie Lil B from STLEBT was shot and killed by the police. After Lil B died, K.I. allegedly murdered Chief Keef's cousin, Blood Money, for revenge. Blood Money wasn't from O-Block, but he repped another BD set called Front Street. When he died, rumors started flying that K.I. was the shooter, and the next day, she was shot and killed after dropping her location on Twitter. On April 11, 2014, K.I. and Butter were walking to Wooski's house with another homie when someone ran up on him and started letting off shots. Butter and their friends survived, but K.I. was later pronounced dead at a local hospital. Some people think 
Chaos murder proof, she was involved with Odie's death. But if she was really as active in the streets as rumors say, then there was plenty of reasons the officer would want to take her out. Nobody was ever arrested for the shooting, but rumors were going around that King Von was the one who killed her. A few days after she died, dudes from O-Block, a little recent boss top, shouted out Von on Twitter. And recently, paperwork came out that says Von was the prime suspect in the case before he was killed in 2020. Nobody really knows who killed OD, but another theory is that a dude named MOB Scrap was the killer. Some people believe Scrap was with KI and Butter when they killed OD. And just a month before he died, Scrap tweeted, F O Block. We made O Block. The mother n is lying. No bullshit. Thanks. Some people think Scrap was behind OD's murder because of his brother Ruga's verse on FBG Ducks Exposing Me Remit. On the track, he said, Got some information that you f would hate to know. F talk that shit. They don't even know who made the O. Drop a bag on your head. My shooters get paid to blow. Damn! When he died, it sparked a deadly war between the BDs and GDs that's still going on today. In 2012, Lil Dirk dropped the track L's anthem and took the beef to a new level. On the track, he called out the GDs and said, Brick Squad, I say f them. We'll go roll with them, so it's f them. The track blew up and put the beef in the spotlight. And a dude from Brick Squad named Lil JoJo clapped back with the track 300k BDK. JoJo was actually cool with Lil Reese and Dirk because they knew each other from back in the day. But by that point, the tension between the GDs and BDs was too high for him to back down. On his track, JoJo called out the BDs and Dirk and said, Dirk say brick squad, so I can't wait to catch him. Squeeze his f***ing 40, now they got him on the stretcher. JoJo sent more diss tracks to the BDs, but then a few months later, he was shot and killed after letting the ops know where he was at. Over the next few years, both sides sent shots on tracks and in the streets too. FBG Duck's brother and cousin got killed on the same day, but it didn't stop him from taking more shots at OD and other BDs. On the Exposing Me remix, Duck said he got caught in traffic, Waddle ain't get to finish his status. He on the internet laughing, capping, they got caught without it. F your homie, he dead. You heard what I said. F Sheroy, f OD, f D thing, and f Tirehead. In 2020, Duck dropped the track Dead Bitches and rap, Man Chicago Legends, shit, that was just about business. Said I wasn't gonna diss the dead, and okay, I did it. But T Roy and OD, them dead. Just a few months later, Duck was shot and killed while he was out shopping in the Gold Coast neighborhood of Chicago. He was one of O Block's biggest ops, and rumors immediately started flying that they were behind the murder. Last year, five dudes from O Block were hit with a Rico charge over Duck's death. C Thang, C Murder, Muwap, Lowe's, and Zell Money were all named, but Zell had taken his own life a few months earlier. We'll probably never have a solid answer about who really killed O.D. Perry, but whoever's responsible helped set off a deadly wave of violence in Chicago. The BDs and Gs weren't cool before he died, but now both sides have lost so many people that there's almost no chance that the killing will stop. O.D. was another young dude who just got caught up in the streets and had to adapt to his environment, and unfortunately, it all caught up to him when he was only 20 years old. And while some BDs and Gds have made it out of the trenches through music, way more have lost their lives to this deadly war. Rest in peace to Odie Perry and everyone else who didn't make it out. PayPal can help add credibility to your site. Yo, that was crazy. Look, I'm going to be honest with y'all. <clears throat> because I know Chicago. Look, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna be this for real. You see, this is the reason why that that's so that's so much violent violence into this world. You know what I'm saying? Like it's between two things. It's between a lot of people getting killed. Like I'm gonna say this right. And I'm gonna, but between my opinion, listen. Because I'm gonna say this. I always fuck with Lil Dirt. I always fuck with Chief Keith. Fuck with King Von, like, I ain't know King Von that much, but I got to lie to you, but O.D. Perry, man, was one of the legends, one of the legends of O Block. Yo, that's crazy. I feel, I feel bad for them niggas. The BDs and the GDs, man, they were going at each other's throats. Man, that, that, them niggas on some kill, them niggas on some, like, them niggas, they really wanted to kill each other. Like, come on, man, like... Y'all need to stop beefing over shit because number one, if you, if you want to say give revenge on us, give revenge that somebody who got killed did you grill up with, like I ain't gonna lie to you, that's kind of different. <clears throat> and I'm gonna say this for real: if you got family and friends, don't get involved, don't get yourself involved with a gang, in a gang because number one, because don't because I'm gonna say this: you better learn how to protect yourself. And learn how to protect yourself. To be the walk away, killing somebody ain't gonna bring that person back that you grew up with. That's your. That's my opinion. Right. Everybody else. Everybody else got their own opinion going on.
So, anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching this video. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, comment down below. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.